Um, but I like, you know, I, I think uh, I feel pretty confident. I like sauna a lot. I like sana.com, rap.com. Uh, and the other picks, like, weren't bad picks. So, the guy, I think, uh, I think, I'm gonna have a list tomorrow of stocks and I like Sana a lot and I'd like to do more call options and it, it stinks that I can't get into these Halloween trades. I can only buy these stocks. So call options are expensive and maybe that's what happened with my Timu or whatever, like, cause, um, they're expensive, they're more expensive and with cheaper call options and cheaper, more speculative stocks, you can make more money, you know? So I think that's what happened was I uh, didn't feel like trading at two with these call options, I felt like if I could get 0 0.05 at TD up call options, and there's still time. So, but um, yeah, I, I like Sana. I, I like doing call options that are under one dollar, under two dollars. Um, so I don't, uh, unless I'm very confident, like I was with with Timu. I thought that was just, but. China's having a pullback, which I'm not surprised. And um, basically just Robinhood was pushing these highest implied volatility. I like, you know, I didn't want to miss, I'd rather speculate than miss on an opportunity that, you know, could do very well and I think it's just short interest, you know, DJT has short interest and I was in those plays, was doing well, it just, I got greedy. I got greedy, I missed a point. I wanted to establish a, a big portfolio, a bigger portfolio and there's still time, but um, you're, you're limited. You're just limited because call options are expensive. Like and you're limited to your portfolio. Having a smaller portfolio, you're just limited. So, um, and you're limited to options. A lot of these stocks that I'm gonna list tomorrow, I don't think they, they don't have options available. So it's tough to find a stock that has options available that's speculative and this stock, I thought it had options available. Short interest wasn't high enough. It's a bummer because um, there's a lot of great options, a lot of great picks, and I'd love to put a lot of capital in options. And I'm gonna have a list of stocks tomorrow, but I have to buy them. I have to buy them. And it's exciting, but it's really not like, like options, like options. Um, so I'm not like San, Santa, I think like 99% of hedge funds are in Santa.com. Uh, I think 99% of hedge funds are in like rap.com. So um, yeah, so I think uh, I, I can check with Robin. He can't even believe I don't know what to believe with Robinhood because it's like they don't really push stocks that are heavily shorted. They they have their their list their their list, but it's not really. Um, so you learn, you live and learn. It's fine. I went, you know, is 10k. I can probably offset the losses with Sana and Rap. 
I think they're good investments. I think right now, I think investors are trying to get to go lower, trying to have a pullback to buy more. And then I think there's going to be crazy rally um, with interest rates cutting again. And um, I think there's going to be a crazy rally. Um, so anyway, that's uh, my take. Going to have a list of stocks and it's a bummer that I uh, can't get into these Halloween call options, which I called like a month ago and two months ago. And, um, you know, I would just keep, if you're an investor, just keep putting money in. Keep putting money in. If you have a bad stock pick, it's whatever. Just keep putting money in and it's great. There's so many stocks to buy. And for this channel, it kind of messed up my channel too, because that's what I was worried about. I was like, all right, I can't talk about one stock. I can't talk about one stock all day. And it's exactly what happened was the whole thing. It just doesn't, I could, <laughs> if I, even if I make a hundred percent on this trade in six months, you just learn that it's just like, you you just learn and it's not even worth the stress. It's not worth the stress. It's not worth the sleep deprivation. There were some gimmies that I should have just left alone. Timu was like an easy, like DJT was easy. Like these are easy ones and I just, I got greedy and I, I got speculative and you know, I didn't do my research or I didn't even have time to learn or research or whatever. And I had a little bit of time finally and you become a better investor. So now, you know, I have a way better idea and learning lessons, you know, just learning lessons and it's fine, but you can't be emotional. You just can't be emotional. Highs and lows, highs and lows, you just, you can't be emotional. So.